Hello everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. You guys are going to love today's easy and peachy summertime dessert. We're going to be making my easy glazed peach fritters and these are simply divine. You're going to love them from the very first bite. The textures, the flavors, these are so incredibly delicious. We're going to start with a simple batter, flour, sugar, eggs, buttermilk. I like to add a touch of cinnamon there as well and then fold in those diced peaches. We're going to drop spoonfuls of the batter into hot oil and then once those donuts are fried, we'll apply a simple glaze on the outside. These are perfection. They're super easy to make and perfect for summertime. For the full list of ingredients and the printable recipe, head on down into that video description box and over to my website. Meanwhile, let's get started on this incredible dessert. Let's get things started today with our peaches. I have these really small peaches today, like the first fruit of the season, so I'll be using about four or five of these. If you have some larger peaches, you might need just three. You can also prepare this recipe using canned peaches. Just drain off the syrup first and then give them a dice. You'll want your peaches finely diced. Drop your diced peaches into a separate bowl. And we're going to need about two cups of diced peaches for today's recipe. Now let's make our easy fritter batter. We're going to need two thirds cup of buttermilk. Pour that into a large mixing bowl. Two large eggs. I always like to have my eggs at room temperature. Drop those in. One teaspoon of vanilla extract and a quarter cup of sugar. We'll mix this all together. Just beat until the eggs are well beaten. For the dry ingredients, we'll need one and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour. Add in one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, quarter teaspoon of sea salt, and one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Mix that all together. Add in the dry ingredients and then whisk everything together. You want a nice thick batter. Add in those diced peaches next and fold everything together. All right, it's time to make some fritters. I'm going to be filling this saute pan with some canola oil. This is my preferred choice of oil for deep frying. It doesn't have um, a lot of flavor and it's relatively inexpensive. We're going to heat this oil over medium high heat until it reaches about 300 degrees Fahrenheit. While my oil is preheating, I'm going to make my simple glaze. I need about two cups of confectioner's sugar. Drop that into a little mixing bowl and I'm going to start adding in my milk. You can add anywhere from a quarter to a third cup of milk. And you want this glaze to be fairly thin. So mix in that confectioner's sugar until you have a nice smooth glaze. Drop spoonfuls of the batter into hot oil. I like to make mine on the smaller side. Fry the fritters for about four to five minutes until they're a rich a golden brown color like this. And you wanna rotate them every once in a while to make sure that they're evenly cooked. Once the fritters are golden brown, remove them onto a wire rack. I like to place a little paper towel underneath to catch any of that excess oil. While the fritters are still warm, you'll wanna drop them into that prepared glaze. Toss them around and around. Tap off some of the excess and then place it back onto a wire rack. Finishing up my last batch of peach fritters and these smell so incredible. I love the aroma of deep fried donuts. It's like the ultimate comfort food dessert. 
All right, I'll get those glazed in just a second, but I love to enjoy donuts while they're still warm, like straight out of the fryer. They have that incredible glaze on the outside. Let's split these open. Oh, these look so good. You have tons of peaches on the inside, and these fritters get so fluffy once they hit that uh, hot oil. Oops, <laughs> let's take a bite. Mmm, mmm. You guys have to run to make these. These fritters are so incredibly delicious. I love the texture and the flavor here. They're super light and fluffy, dotted with tons of peaches. I like having that little bit of cinnamon. And then I also love that these aren't too sweet. The, the batter itself only has a quarter cup of sugar. And so that outside, that glaze adds just another touch of sugar and it just balances everything out. These are so good. Mmm, mm-hmm. We're going to finish up a glazing all my fritters. Meanwhile, you guys head on down into that video description box for the recipe link. I'm going to have everything online for you guys, including this recipe with metric measurements. I hope you've enjoyed my latest episode and I'll see you next time with a new recipe.